My husband's starting to play this game. I'll get used to it. It's like Super Mario RPG Remake. And the original. From Super Nintendo. Different. Alright, Timmy's. Play Seeker and other crap like that. We are going to set sail soon to get the third, the fifth crystal, crystal star we need to get. Also, it's dedicated to Miss Mouse of her episode. Hello! I know I'll be useful later. <laughs> and I'm a thief. But I'm an honorable thief that takes the rare badges only. My friends the handsome Mario. <laughs> we'll have you around later, okay? If you wouldn't mind, obviously, if, um... You know, waiting for a bit. Uh, of course, I hope I'll be useful soon. Alright, thanks. Now forget the rest of the gang. We got one more member to get, but that'll have to be for a bit. Let's begin with at least the beginning of the chapter. Sort of started. Welcome back to TD Gaming, so Paper Mario Fountain Year Door Remake. As Mario knows about Professor Franklin says, it's on the island for the next star s crystal star to find. You don't believe me? Uh, I guess I can show you. Yep. We still got a long ways to go, and to fill up the rest of the map here. Oh, we will. I'll show you the brief day view later. But anyways, we gotta get the crew member, and I know a pirate that'll help us. From the order of shores, this guy. Oh, before that. There's supposed to be something over here. Nope, I thought there would be something. Anyways. Is this him? I know. Oh, a red skull. Could be a hit. <laughs> what is this guy? A co talking coconut man? And what do you want, eh? <laughs> oh, me, you ask about? Uh, I am called Velvino. I am, how you say, a trader. The richest man in Roteport. <laughs> Mortinary wealth gives me freedom, yes. And freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that thy man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more, eh? I'm my Rishido. Oh, uh, okay. Hi, Fleo. I'm gonna call you Fleo for sure. What is the missing from my life? This tears on my very insides. I must know. What do I lack? Uh, I would go with romance, but in between that, no money. But probably frills. Yes, probably. <laughs> frills, you say, huh? I suppose one does not need some need some frills every now and then, as long as you are careful. Play cautious, but still takes the fact and stay safe and defend yourself. There's nothing like a feeling of being alone on the mountains, shivering to death. <laughs> oh, no foolish Faleo. No chills, you silly man. Why need our frills? Not chills, this isn't a horror thing, you know. Oh, wait, follow the horses. That is it. What? Now that I'm thinking about it, of it, I once heard of the treasure of, of Kortz, the Pirate King. Cortez, the Pirate King? Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. I hunt for the pirate treasure. Wow, you give Monkey D. Luffy and Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow a bad name. Yes, I'm going to do a lot of references to One Piece and the Clarence the Caribbean. Why? That the just shrieks of romance and frills, also that, and the emotion and every even money for most. So as you're not greedy, Mr. Crabless. Do you do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure hidden in Keyhall at uh, Keyhall Key. That's the place we gotta go. Ah uh, well, the tales say say that the, the pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. We use treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them have ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. Uh, now you got a spine problem. No, I'm just kidding. People hear a whisper that the ghost of the Cortez lack attacks all who seek his treasure. Yeek! It is because of this, those very rumors that the people no longer go to the Keyhole Key. But that will not stop Phileo. The treasure is there, yes. And I am going to prove it. For I am Phileo, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, and sailor of the seven seas. What? What is that you're saying? Talk of the legendary treasure. Here beneath Rofolk. I meant it actually. We had to get something from it on the island. But the treasure, I can understand you're hunting it for it. Why is talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. 
<laughs> we cannot be believing such stupid rumors about the treasure some street and Shin spews about. Dude. You don't know half of it. No, 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 no! What I used to do, I swear. Now what madness come bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. Okay, I'll show you a little bit with the location I'm going after and your treasure. You're having a joke on me. This map leads straight to the keyhole key. You swine. You mean to tell me that my treasure is out, out from under me, you awful, awful man? It's awful, I swear. We're after just one little piece. Well, now I am confused. You are looking for things known as the crystal stars. Yes. But now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be at Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a strangling amount of cash? Yes, that would be. Ah, stop such thoughts. Filario, you, you need a romance, frills, and emotions. Can I ignore what the business is for before we suggest? This must be a fate at work. Vileo shall go with you to Keyhole Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes. But the rest of the treasure is mine. What a sad idea. I think we made ourselves a good deal, right everyone? Mm. Well, okay. Hmm, you must repeat that. Vileo's ears are uh, plugged. You have no ship? Well, no, we can't really swim because of the piranhas. Oh, how shameful. Yes, ha <laughs> I know that. You unfortunate fishman. Do you know who I am? A million times already. I will have a ship ready in no time. And it will be massive and glorious. Okay, thank you. Similar to this split list, we begin for preparation immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our interpret leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, uh, danger and adventure tickle in my nostrils. That's you! Yeah, and Gazantai, thank you. Come to the harbor right away. I'm gonna take this job with you. Maybe. I'll meet you there! Okay... He sure talks a lot for Pirate Man. I guess we're gonna get going to the ship. Down to where we all started to get here. At least we can come back and forth. That's the only way to get to the island. What other choice do we got? None. Woo! Speaking of some... Maybe I can use Flurry's ability to help me find some hidden locations. Oh, Ma, I'd be more than happy to. I'll give it a shot. No. Alright, alright. Sorry. Watch your step. A oh, ship. One of the shoppers gonna be there. A lot of toes, a lot of bombs. What the heck? Who are you? <laughs> you guys already know who he is, right? So, yeah, more on that later. Anyways. Ah, oh, yes, so it is you, eh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on the outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? It is in good shape, I'll admit. She is the SS Valian. The queen of the countless ships, in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the plop of the circumstance. None can compare to her. And behold the England curve of her power. She cuts to her very soul. Don't you agree? Yeah, I guess so. But she has is not just a beauty, she is a salvage beast on the water tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you this proud ship can. Well, uh, will you get to the point? Oh, yes. Can you speak? Yes, 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 of course. The problem that the house was sprung up. I have completely forgot about it. The S.S. Flayan. She bewitched me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is a highest-ranking henchman. They steer ships. You know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Keyhole Key are dead. Least dangerous. We need an absolutely skills helmsman for our navigator. It is it is a how you say a pickle. Boy, Flavo, are you talking about there, sir? You don't mind me saying I may have a solution. You not to tease me, Patch. The Patch, you can solve our problem. 
then spit it out already. Well, sir, I heard a talk of a of a of a friend, say no, a legendary sailor living in the rogue port. Yeah, I think he called Admiral Barbary, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he said he had the handsman's touch, sir. He can make any ship blow to his will. The thing is, there ain't a soul won't see him in the seas of late. Bass for boom. Problem solved. Let us scout out for this Barbary fellow and get him on board. As the commissary, my captain, will handle all the ne negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? Aye, aye, sir. I had to go. Aye, aye, aye. It is a good plan. Then it's decided. You must find this Barbary and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Oh, okay. I suppose I can get him. Now we just gotta figure out how to get it. Oh yeah, I think I'm supposed to get another new ability and teammate later. This is gonna be very useful! On certain occasions. Hello, I'm gonna miss Bombat. Well, I suppose I can figure this out. Alright, next up! We are going to... Let's see what's next. We're going to talk to him. He said find the person. But Bobbery. Okay. Alright. Okay, time to switch out. Time for cool. Fred at it, Yoshi. I am not going to tell us. Woohoo, let me at him. So you know, I'll help you because I want to. I'm not a horsey. I know you're not. It's for no occasion. Ready? I'm a little nervous here. Ta da! <laughs> Went in here a few times anyway. Ready? <laughs> Yahoo! Yeah, alright. Well, the trick is you gotta go over there. So we're gonna take care of that in just a minute. Can't go empty handed without that. Oh, maybe I can fill up for uh <gasps> mm, this mouse. You're lucky I have to go there anyway. Oh right, at the twitch. Right. Your turn, Ben. And then the other one to come. Are you ready? Alright, she'll be able to use T's to make all enemies dizzy. Oh, that'll be a good one. Oh, that was generous of you. Let's do it! Yes! Alright! That's all. I'm back any time. Alright, then. Well, that's all of them for now. Tease, huh? What an unusual name of technique. But I love it. Well, what's important is this. At least you got all the other members so far. We just gotta find three other ones and more. I definitely want more. For our next teammate to be. You'll find out who it is soon enough. I can't spoil everything around here just yet. Stop looking at me. Are you ready? Here's how you do it. One, two, roll! Oh, I'm okay. Why do you belong swamped? Hello, sorry I didn't you in your home and meet my friends with me. Need... Are you Admiral Babomery? You seek Admiral Babomery? Never heard the jet take your search elsewhere. Now away with you. But I don't want to go. But can I take this to go? Oh, I don't know why that's there. I got a night light. Alright, you can go. Okay, thanks. Huh. Okay, so why is he not gonna come? 
It is Admiral Babari. Huh. Mm hmm. Well, there's only one person who knows about him the bartender back at the inn. That's the only way to get him to come and join us. You'll see. Trust me, he'll be useful. I hope this works. Me too. I know you know anything about Babari. Hello, Babari. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know that you know, the house just past the wall, the eastern part of town? Yeah, I've been in already. Well, that's his. He did. Good job. I think you both, you and he, would be better off if you just let him be. Uh, maybe I gotta talk to the captain, the, the pirate guy, Theo? Alright, fine. I have a choice. Yeah, back and forth kind of thing again, again, I see. Yo, Theo, we got a problem. <laughs> you found someone who matches Barbary's description, but claims he is not him? Strange, I will ask someone for who is knowledgeable, but about the neighborhood about this? I am. That's the point I'm gonna be talking to. Okay, well, I need to talk to the bar the, the bartender, maybe. It says to talk to him. Maybe I had to talk to the captain first? <laughs> Sorry. Why is he angry, Mario? I don't know. By the way, Miss Mouse, who's running your running your store at the badges? A good friend of mine. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. I know it's you. We really gotta go. Please don't insult us. We already know you are the Admiral. Just. You sh so just admit it. Her. What, Poppycott? Tell me. What would you want with me if I if I were the chap? We, we have to go on the ship, you know, and we need a navigator. That's what the captain said. You say your ship needs a navigator? And you want me. To do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I'll s I shall set sit upon sail upon the seas never more. But maybe you don't, under don't understand how important this is. We need you. Without you, we'll never get to the keyhole key. Awfully sorry, dear fellows. But when I say no, what I mean is no. Can I talk to the bartender now? What do you think, Mario? Nothing we say seems to be enough to convince this man. Hmm. But don't you find it odd? Why would a sailor have such hatred for the sea? We need answers. Maybe we should ask around town about this man's story. Can I ask the bartender now? Oh, he's doing things weirdly. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you catch those, crush those uh, roaches in town, you day turn into coins. How funny. Now, let's try this again. Please work. You say Bobbery won't go to sea, huh? Well, I can't say that. I'm surprised. It surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back in the water? Yeah. Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want the amount of an ex expedition 
the Keyhole Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bomery, though. Really? The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobari's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell you, tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do, I can take it. In that case, get ready, Bobari's tale of woe goes something like this. Here we go. Bobari was once married. He had a wife and adoring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love so revered through fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he w was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eyes never drifted. He, he, was loved only Scar his, he loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness when they could, and all he was good for that time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when he, it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew. But it soon turned serious. Aubrey at sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. But the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. That sucks. Sorry, dude. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with, with such thoughts. They rented him always, haunting his sleep. He had never gone out to sea since. That's a harsh story. I can't imagine if that poor man went through. No wonder he won't sail. You all, you all know his tale. So tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Yes, we have no choice. We gotta have this voice of spirit live on for her sake. Very well, I understand. If you are that determined, then I'll give you, give you this. That's better. Oh, letter. Yeah, Scarlet wanted Bob Bobbery to continue on with his dream. She would be disappointed in him being shut in on her deathbed. Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should scumble to this plague. And if my love should blame himself for my death, this then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I regretted it ever since. Please, take the, this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Barbary. Thank you so much, Polly. We'll deliver the letter, don't you worry. Ready, Mario? Okay. That is sad. Maybe she just was born when her family saw the sadly of her illness that consumed her health. It sadly can be helped, unfortunately. And it just kind of happened. Bobbery, we'll get you back a sea. Please do it for your wife. I'm really sorry for your loss, too. Watch. Oh, by bolt with a ten spear. Not you again. Yes, sorry. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. I don't have to give you this. Pardon? A letter you say for, for me? Watch Scarlet. This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were at sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, 
You gave me more than lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg you, beg that you remember that time. I like love as a tide. You are one of with the sea, as you were with one with me. Do not lose both your lives, loves. Holy crap. Time like love is the tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Oh, a thousand pardons. But may I have a moment alone if you please? Okay. Take your time. Yes, my love, I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet, I love you still. <laughs> my condolence. Celeste, too. Now then, you were looking for an navigator, I believe, bone the keyhole key. Oh, yeah. Yes, I was. We are. Hey, home. If you think I know sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Hammer of Babari. Wonderful. The ship is in harbor, yeah? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Yes! What luck. Ah, oh, good. That bad, 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 bad. I want it up there. Okay. Up to the harbor shore. I think we'll start from here and get to where our destination will be before we end this episode. Oh boy, guys. Grab your drinks. Grab your food. Got your belongings. Swipe the poop deck. We're going to the sh we're going to the open sea. All the shores, go the shore. Last call. How many star points do I have? Okay. Okay. Come on, come on, come on! Grab your suitcase and everything. Bring everything you need. We're going out. Go bring your phone charger. Last stop, partner, Mister Philos, Shepping, etc. Admiral Babamber, other Babams, the Toes, this weirdo guy. We probably is other Mario and his six friends going ashore to the next star it's crystal star from the fifth location followed by a curse to follow the seven seas on this island and get back soon last stop last call <laughs> I knew you would get bobbery oh boy you wonderful mustache man you oh thank you to you I must say hey ahoy I was wise to choose you as captain ahoy to me as well you didn't do nothing. I hoped. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, our preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Yeah, let's shove off. Okay, let's go. Very well. To the sea. Raise the anchor and set sails for the thrills and emotion. And romance and money. Our destination is dread. Hee haw key. Wait up! Everyone else last call on board. There we go. Now we're off. All aboard! <laughs> Sorry, I've been wanting to say that. Bye-bye! <laughs> this is X-Not 1 here. Come in, dude. I repeat, X-Not 1 here. Over. Roger. Ready for you. Five. Bye. Infiltration is successful. X-Not back block... Board vessel. Repeat, X not black is on aboard the vessel. Yep, I knew it. It's crump. Of course it is. More net later. Chapter five. The key to pirates. There's my fa there's my third favorite one. <laughs> set and sail. Set and sail. Month, day, sorry, I can't read shapes and the numbers and dates, sorry, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the process of my crew, the SS Flynn has set sail. Is the boy as reckless as they say? Uh, I must scuff. Flea will show them guts. Nighttime? Daytime! Another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. 
it is all as if they are blessed our voyage. Flano thanks them most heartily. Where's an owl and rooster? Where are they? Where are they? We're in the open sea here. Things are going smoothly, perhaps even too smoothly for my comfort. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. About that. You're singing? Skull... Skull, Captain Case, the days, stays. Red Jewel shines in place. Boom Bass Boom Festival. The Satch Brothers' best of friends. Three times red Satch lands on his head. Loose Satch belly four times as whack. So let's hear those fireworks go boom. At the Boom Bass Boom Festival. You're singing out of love with the statue thing. It just goes wrong. <laughs> yes, now we are talking. Dalia told you, didn't he not? Nothing to fear, no. This island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. All they see is a bunch of ocean and people throwing up. Well, <laughs> oh, that's just normal. I don't have to turn into selfish seas mostly. Are we there yet? Uh, we'll be there tomorrow. Oh, ho, ho. I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it's no trouble at all. There was, there was locked in a deadly combat with a sea serpent. And blah, blah, blah. Great. You started again a tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's nowhere to escape to. We just have to listen until he finished. <laughs> yeah, if you interrupt him this story, he absolutely loses it too. Oh, uh, why is the what? Wait, what's going on here? The ship stopped. Yeah, it did. That's so normal. Oh, Master Floyd, awful sword to interrupt that wicked story. But the ship stopped. Oh, stop! You say to me, after interrupting a story of fashion and theory? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Well, so take care of it! Mm, I see no issue with the ship itself. And I assure you, I am not so rushy as a sailor that I would miss it. I investigated right, to, right quickly. What a tip. Well, excuse me. Oh, I can do everything myself. Hello? Hey, hello? Nope. Where's the wind? What? Why do we stop? Hey. Yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. Just wait and go my stomp in a moment. You are scallywags. Wait. Uh oh. Wait. Oi. Quit shoving, yeah? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving! Blue flame goes. What is the rapcus now? Who is here? Wait here. Will someone tell me what is going on? Ghost fire! Whoa! This is our subterrain! That's what we are all having! Awake! Now quickly move the boat! Woo! Oh! Boss Leo! Think! Are you really the salvage pirate king? Oh! I don't even know where I am! Me! Look at that, everyone! Remain slightly relaxed! Don't panic! Relax, 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 I say. You still must take it easy, eh? What? Whoa! Come on, no! There's two minutes and everyone. We could only win on the fire shoving right here. All right. Shit! Right. Oh, I... We must get out of here! Our bunny ship! Every rich man in my 
adventures by himself, and now the ones will stay alive! <laughs> Are we dead? No, we're alive. A vanished ship, indeed. Fortune from disasters, the kindly sea washes us ashore. With strange ir irony that this island, Kihol Key, was our intended destination all along, no? Sure look from the waves carrying you aboard. And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bavari. Did we? It pains me to think that they were, they were taken by the Pirate King, the ghostly thing. What happens to us now? Ah, uh, we may be lost without hope, with stricken in the winds, in the wilds. Sorry, in the wilds. We have made a sub balance of civilized life here. The ship float sand washed in, and we now have salty bread and other salty things. A little too much salt's not good for you. We can now live for some time on this salty bounty of sea. But then what? I ask. We have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. Ah, poor sweet SS Flanning. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have no s had no sign of Bobari and the others. In my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. And they are. Three days on this isle now, and huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we all dream of a return to Rogue Court. Guys! You'll be gone for at least a day! Oi, Captain Stash! Yes! It ain't much, but we finished we had, had a wee hunt for you in this rest in. Come, have a look. Mm. Okay, thanks. Oh, I guess we have no choice but to live off the island for now. Nope, we can make it back later. You sure we will. Come on, let's go exploring before we head out. I hope Bob Aubrey is alright along with a few of the members. In the you-know-who. Hey! I remember you! Sorry about that. It's okay. Walk a bump, it's back! It's good to be back, bitches! Uh, okay, this is a game. This is the children's game. Please watch your language. Uh, I guess we can check out the little hut thing there. I didn't know it could be on a island. Last time it was a desert. I guess it was an original game, just not featured, if I haven't done it yet. Whoops. Whoa. Ugh, what is it? What the that food guy chose came here? And what about you, Squanty? You turned to the jelly when you saw all those ghosts! What are you talking about? You're the one who's squ squawking in your food spots pants. You don't even go pee pee in your pants. Wait, wait on one moment. Did, did you just call me the great fun in our fancy pants? My pants is very good, my hat tell made. That's right, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. <laughs> Why, you little cyclops? But I know the man's satisfaction. You, me, how was I done? Oh, that's right, fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy pants. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> the hero! What, who? Just and such, then go see back. A ghost? Dude, it's been a day. The funny thing else was being direct. He was imagining the day and time, night time going quickly. Mario, front and center. This is on an order. Take down of those ghosts. Okay. Fine. Careful not to jump on them. You'll get burned. Okay.
I remember those fire dudes. And this time they're blue. Ghost fire? How is that even possible? Sorry, Benin. That's weird. This one, the fire one, I think I need to check. You know what? Fight fire with fire? <laughs> uh. Sorry, Benin. It's okay. That's not cool, man. Not cool at all. Well, you make the best out of it, you might as well use some of them. I hate when things run out. Don't you? Doug, might as well use some of the items, right? You do that, Taylor. You do that. Uh, the fiery boss, I can't fight him, huh? Well, not for Benny. It's no offense. That's okay. Ow. Don't call for it, dude. Jerk. But yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, bomb booming beast, Captain Slash. So early to celebrate, no? There are surely more of them elsewhere, yeah? Someone must invent and investigate the rest of the island, yes? That is what we must do. Must be. As leader of expedition, I, of course, should stay here. On this, I brook no arguments. Yes, oh, of course, Mario. Perhaps you could handle the exploration then this island? I can do, but I need to break at times to get some stuff. That is my boy. I know I would go forth with you know, with well, this. You, I can. We can count. We count upon you, of course. Thanks to buy you, of course, the genius is. Surprise, surprise. Huh? Sorry, guys. It's just getting to the next chapter. I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> Happens. Hang on, hang on. There you are. Boop, boop. All right, here we go. There are a few things I need to get before heading out, so let's just do that. Okay, we'll head it in a bit. Thank you. Thank you. How'd you get on the island? I have many sisters like Hops and Jenny and Nurse Joy from the Pokemon anime series. Uh, listen to this music. It says fine memories. Come on, there's a star piece near here. I guess we can explore. We'll end this episode in just a bit. I know there has to be other survivors, so we're gonna make sure we double check around here. Stay. Eh. Sorry, Beneath. Really? I need to stop on these things because they always say, Well, stay still for a second second. And if you ever need one of those bump bumps, grab them and look. Let me hit. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of all to level up, huh? I suppose. I do suppose. Uh. Shopping time! I have to sell some crap, probably. 
<laughs> Definitely this. This. Can I sell some crap? Let me just double check. <laughs> Uh, ba 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 ba. I think I should be okay for now. I can always come back for more to explore. All right, I'll do it for now. I'll come back later if I need to, and that shall happen. Ooh, what is? This? this is so far you can go. Oh, hey, this is the ocean up. Whoa, what is this? A Pool setting? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, guys. We'll find out a little bit more about this island. Maybe we'll find a key to the, obviously, Crystal Star next. Can't wait. Until next time, all you <laughs> Paper Mario series fans out there in the Thousand Year Door remake, we got lots more to cover. Ahoy, MAT! Let's get going! Arr! And swap the poop deck. Okay, seriously. Who made a big crap in the island like they did in uh, my beautiful ship once? I smell duty! Hungry Leo's having an issue. <laughs> Probably Papatch did. Eh, just kidding. Imagine that though. Can you imagine? 